Hills, City Fire, Sun City, and 81, stand by. Respondent Miller and Hammerberg. Miller and Hammerberg. Got multiple calls for reference. Someone heard a loud explosion. Smoke and flames was seen slightly to the west of there. Miller and Hammerberg. I'm now 2132. City Fire Engine 81 responded to the area of Miller and Hammerberg. Miller and Hammerberg. Multiple callers reporting they heard a loud explosion and the smoke and flames were seen slightly to the west from there. Again, this is at Miller and Hammerberg. Time now at 7132. 81 reference your call. It's going to be a dupe to a structure fire. There's a flint fire. Stand by for town. City Engine 31, Engine 11, Squad 1, Squad 2, Battalion, along with Engine 81, response for a residential structure fire, 3921, 3921, Hogarth Avenue. Neighbors reporting they heard a house explode next door to that house, so it's across the street from her house. Multiple calls, calls from it. Fireground 11 at 2133. City Fire Engine 31, Engine 11. Squad 1, Squad 2, Battalion, along with 81, respond to a residential structure fire in the area 3921-3921-Hogarth Avenue. It's across of Walton. Local calls for reference. They heard a loud explosion. And then there'll be one house on fire. TV's on scene now. It sounds like there's multiple homes on fire now at this time. Multiple homes on fire. 3900 block of Hogarth. Zero fire ground 11 at 2133. Put the fire cap is 3921 Hogarth for multiple homes on fire. We start a fourth pump in this direction. Also, notifying consumers in case this was a natural gas explosion. Okay. Close to the engine, 61, stay by for tones. Okay. Fire ground 11 responds to the 3921-3921 Hogarth Avenue in the area of Hogarth and Walton. Multiple houses on fire in the area. Sounds like one of them did explode. And fire ground 11 at 2135. Foot City Fire Engine 61 responds as well to the structure fires at 3921-3921 Hogarth across of Walton. PD is on scene advising multiple houses on fire at this time. Sounds like one possibly exploded. Here in fire ground 11. Twenty-five. Engine fifty-one, stand by for engine ten. Felicity engine fifty-one on fire ground eleven. Respond to assist with a structure fire. Thirty-nine twenty-one, three-nine two-one Hogarth Avenue. Cross of Walton. Have multiple houses possibly on fire with one explosion and entrapment. Should be on fire ground eleven at twenty-one thirty-eight. Felicity engine fifty-one, fire ground eleven. Respond to assist with the structure fire with entrapment at 3921 Hogarth Avenue. Have possible entrapment. Be requested to assist. Close City Fire Sun City at 81, stand by. Respond to Miller and Hammerberg. Miller and Hammerberg. Got multiple calls for reference. Someone heard a loud explosion. Smoke and flames was seen slightly to the west of there, Miller and Hammerberg. I'm now 2132. City Fire Engine 81 responded to the area of Miller and Hammerberg. Miller and Hammerberg. Multiple callers reporting they heard a loud explosion and the smoke and flames were seen slightly to the west from there. Again, this is at Miller and Hammerberg. Time now at 7132. 81 reference your call. It's going to be a dupe to a structure fire. That's a flint fire. Stand by for town. Split City Engine 31, Engine 11, Squad 1, Squad 2, Battalion, along with Engine 81, response for a residential structure fire, 3921-3921, Hogarth Avenue. Neighbors reporting they heard a house explode next door to that house. So it's uh, across the street from her house. Multiple calls, calls from it. Fireground 11 at 2133. Split City Fire Engine 31, Engine 11, Squad 1, Squad 2, Battalion, along with 81, respond to a residential structure fire in the area 3921-3921 Hogarth Avenue. It's across of Walton. Multiple calls for reference. They heard a loud explosion. And then there'll be one house on fire. TV's on scene now. It sounds like there's multiple homes on fire now at this time. Multiple homes on fire. About 3900 block of Hogarth. Zero fire ground 11 at 2133. Put the fire cap is 3921 Hogarth for multiple homes on fire. We start a 
fourth pump in this direction. Also, notifying consumers in case this was a natural gas explosion. Okay. Closer the engine, 6 1, stay by for cones. Vampire engine 61, third ground 11, respond to the 3921-3921 Hogarth Avenue in the area of Hogarth and Walton. Both full houses on fire in the area. Sounds like one of them did explode. The entire ground 11 at 2135. Three homes were on fire on Hogarth Avenue when first responders arrived on scene. At least 17 homes were impacted by that explosion. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us this noon. I'm Blake Keller. We certainly have a lot to get to. This was the chaotic scene just moments after the explosion in Flint around 930 last night. But just moments ago at a press conference, the city says the cause of the carnage still under investigation. We're still assessing the cause of this, this action, what happened last night. Things are under investigation. We have teams there uh, from the state police, the fire department, the police department, and we're still assessing and investigating what happened actually happened last night. Gas and electric services were shut off to the three destroyed homes. Service was shut off at four other damaged homes in the area. Consumers Energy says several homes in the neighborhood were surveyed, but no evidence of a gas leak has been found. The whole block was evacuated. We're assessing the homes that could have had structural damage, and we're assessing if it's safe for the families to go into the home to retrieve some of their personal items. City of Flint, where a massive explosion has now claimed the lives of two people, one of them a four-year-old child. All of homes completely wiped out with others nearby and across the street knocked off their foundations with windows blown out as well. Ma Explosion happened at one home and then two other homes caught on fire. We're a block over and you can find broken glass like this. You can look at windows, shattered glass, uh, boarded up windows. And then they told us just after two in the rubble, they found that little girl who was missing earlier. All the homes on this block of Hogarth Avenue have been evacuated. Power and water have been cut off, but people who live nearby say they not only saw the flames, they heard it and they felt it. You can't describe how loud it was. 
Oh, well, the felt vibration of the ground. Glass flew all over my room. All from a home explosion Monday night on Hogarth Avenue. The aftermath is hard to look at. It looks like a war zone is what it looks like. There's there's lumber that's been stabbed into the roofs of the surrounding houses. There's there's clothes strewn throughout trees. Chris Light's grandfather built the home across the street from where the explosion happened. His grandmother and uncle still live there. It blew all the windows out. It blew the basement windows out. It blew the attic door down out of the attic. But the damage goes beyond homes. Two people were killed in the explosion, a four-year-old girl and a 55-year-old woman. There's still one person in the hospital. Tragic nonetheless when we lose life. It is very tragic when we have the holiday season to add into this. An investigation is underway after the explosion that killed fought two people, including a four-year-old girl in a Flint neighborhood. That explosion leveled three homes and it damaged 20 others. The impact could be felt for miles. Since the explosion, the entire area has been coming together to help. Investigators are still looking into what could have caused this explosion. 17 homes have been evacuated and Consumers Energy has shut off the natural gas and electric service in the area.